In this video, I want to provide a little bit more information about vertical curves, uh, the parabolic equation we use for vertical curves, and also an equation we use to find, let's say, the highest or lowest point um, on a vertical curve. And from the last several videos, we learned that there's generally two types or two kinds of curves. There's a sag curve and a crest curve. And a sag curve is basically where the vertical curve is concave up, right? And the crest curve is usually when, when the curve is concave down. And vertical curves are really just a part of a parabola, or they, they form some, they're, they're an arc of a parabola. And they're pretty well adapted and pretty well suited for vertical curves because um, they provide a more gradual change in, in, in direction. Um, and elevations and stations and all that sort of uh, stuff are, are easily computed using vertical curves because we have an equation. And so just to really quickly go over some of the terminology, some of the important terminology, uh, for vertical curves, and I'll introduce a, a couple new terms here. Um, here I've, I've simply drawn two tangents or two uh, two grades for a vertical curve. The curve is in green, and we have things like the PVC, which is the point of vertical curvature. That's where the vertical curve starts, um, and then you have the PVT, which is the point of vertical tangency, and that's where um, the vertical curve ends. Um, and then you'll also have this up here where the two tangents intersect, and that's the PVI, or the point of vertical intersection. And then you have your distances and your length. So your length of a vertical curve is simply the length from PVC to PVT, and that's denoted as L. And then you have um, distance X, and X can be any distance from PVC along, uh, to any point along this vertical curve. Uh, you have your datum, you have, um, let me draw this in blue, you have your uh, parameter here, it's called E, and that's from your vertical curve uh, to your tangent point here, or your uh, any point on that tangent. And then you have grade 1, which in this case is going up, and then you have grade 2, in this case it's negative. Um, and then you have stuff like, uh, or or this would be your be your long chord, right? Your long chord would be the distance from PVC uh, to PVT. And if you remember from horizontal curves, uh, the long chord is similar. It's where it's a distance from where your horizontal curve starts, and it's a straight distance from that point to where your horizontal curve ends. It's the same thing for vertical curves. Um, straight distance from PVC to PVT. And, oh, and you also have uh, this, this, this parameter here, and that is YPVC, and that's simply the elevation um, of your point of, uh, oh, sorry, this is backwards, PVC, point of vertical curvature, right? And so now that we know this, this important terminology, let's use this and explore the parabolic equation used for vertical curves a little bit more and try to understand um, where the different terms come from. So, and warning, there's going to be some, um, actually, a good amount of calculus, very basic calculus um, in, in this, after, after this portion of the video. So, generally, you learn this in, I don't know, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, uh, that the general equation of a parabola is y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, right? And y would be um, any point along that curve. It, all these points define a parabolic curve, right? So, if we took this equation and we said, hey, let's find the slope of vertical curve at any point along this curve, um, you remember that that would just be the tangent at a certain point. And if you remember what a tangent along a curve is, that's, well, that's the first derivative learned in calculus. So, calculus. so if we derive this equation, if we took the first derivative of this equation, uh, that would give us the slope of vertical curve, right? The slope um, at any point along this curve. So if I derive this equation, we'd get uh, 2ax plus b. Right, that's the first derivative 
um, and that, that's that's the slope of vertical curve, right? So if we were to derive this this new term or this new equation again, we would get the rate of change of slope. Okay, so the rate of change of slope is given by the second derivative, and in this case, it would simply be 2a. Hmm. Okay, so this was the first derivative, this was the second. Okay, the first one was the slope at any point, and the second was the rate of change of slope, right? Calculus. But why is this important? Well, if we place the origin of this vertical curve at BVC, or PVC in this case, the beginning of vertical curve, curvature, uh, if we did that, C would equal zero, right? And so the general equation of a parabola, well, if C is zero, then Y is equal to AX squared plus, plus BX. Okay, now stick with me. And at the origin, at the origin of this curve, isn't the slope, isn't the slope at that point equal to the grade? I believe so. I hope so. <laughs> so at the origin, the tangent or the slope is, in this case, G1, grade 1. And that means if we took the first derivative of this new parabolic equation, which is really just a, a different form of this, uh, we would get 2ax plus b. But b, in this case, would be g1, right? And at x equals 0, the, the first derivative, or the slope, um, is, well, if x was equal to 0, then that means the origin is placed at the BBC, and that means this term would be uh, 0. And that's where you can see b would equal grade 1. Okay? So, that means the rate of change of slope, or the second derivative, okay, and this is actually a given term. The rate of change of slope, r, is equal to g2 minus g1 over L. Okay? And up here, we said that the rate of change of slope for a parabolic equation is given as 2a, right? And here we have a given, r, which is also the rate of change of slope, is equal to the difference in grades uh, divided by the length. And so, really, we can set these two equations equal. 2a is equal to... 2a is equal to r, which is equal to g2 minus g1 over length, right? And so now we have uh, uh, an equation for a. If we were to simply divide this by 2, a would be equal to r over 2, or g2 minus g1 over 2l, right? And so... Finally, uh, the equation for a vertical curve using uh, c is equal to 0 becomes, let me do it here, y is equal to g1x plus ax squared, right? You have ax squared here, uh, b is equal to g1 when x is equal to 0, or where the origin of the curve is at bvc, the beginning of vertical curvature. Um, I just, I simply rearranged the terms, right? I switched these two here, g1x plus ax squared. Um, and if we knew the elevation of PVC, if we knew the elevation of the point of vertical curvature, then the point, any point, any point along this vertical curve would simply be um, elevation of PVC plus all of this right here. And I'll write it as g1x plus 8x squared. So that's what we're familiar with. That's our equation um, for a vertical curve. We can find the elevation of a point along, along any point or at any point along this vertical curve 
um, with this equation. And so let's take a look quickly at, actually, let me do the highest and lowest point in the next video. All right, see you then.